on. Hi guys, hey, uh, this is uh, Sean Tyler here. And I'm just, this isn't really a video about a finished product. It's more kind of like about the process when you're doing sculpture, okay? So basically, I've been given a, uh, a job, a project to, to make a horse, okay? And the finished horse is gonna be done in something, either cement or another really hard material. I guess I haven't really figured that out yet. But I wanna tell you a little bit about armature, okay? The armature is the skeleton of a sculpture. It's what's on the inside that gives it shape, okay? If you're gonna do some, some types of sculpture, it's, you're gonna make an armature out of steel. This particular one, I'm making out of foam. Now, if you'll notice what I used is uh, insulation foam. I got about two inch thick stuff, and I ended up gluing it together. And the way I glued it, and it took me a while to figure out how to do this, I used that spray-on expanding foam insulation. Now, I'll tell you what, it works great. It's just, when I'm carving it, if you see right here, I carve it away and it's just like I'm carving the foam. It doesn't come away in hunks because it's stuck firmly to what I'm doing. Now, you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm making the foam shape in the approximate shape of the enlarged picture that I have of the project that I'm doing. And I know people are going to say, well, why don't you show us finished product? And or people are going to say, I want to see a picture of the, pic the, of the horsey. You know, well, I'm not going to show you that. How about that? But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you my process of using the foam as my uh, structure, as my armature, as it were. And I'm going to show you how a little bit of how I carve that. So the way I'm carving that right now is I'm using a really coarse grain uh, carving wheel on my angle grinder. You, can you come up here and look at that? Um, this is actually for wood carving. It works if, it's, if it's going to work on wood, it's going to work on foam, right? You just got to be really careful and you're going to see the way I do this. I kind of grind it away gently, slow, even strokes. And then what I'm doing, what I'm going to do right now on this uh, piece, of, piece of foam that I've glued up, and by the way, they call it stack lamination. It just means gluing up to get the thickness of whatever you want. So then you have enough material to carve and it works on foam, it works on wood, probably other materials, I don't know. But I'm going to carve away on that. And then again, I, I'm also using my band saw to kind of shape it. And so you'll just see me carving on the foam a little bit with my angle grinder of all things. That's good right there, honey. of a different animal. Now, this, uh, this set up here, this carving head is designed for wood, okay? So wood is obviously much harder than foam. Uh, and what I noticed when I was first trying to do this, I gouged because it is digging real deep and I dig a real deep divot in wherever I was touching. So I just wanted to show you uh, one technique that I just discovered that really works well for doing large kind of smooth pieces of foam. What I'm trying to do now is I'm getting this kind of funnel shape, if you will, from the bottom of the horse's neck on up towards the head. It's going to be thicker and fatter up here and get thinner down in this direction. And what I've discovered is if I hold this like this, where I'm almost resting the, uh, the guard kind of on the material, and I just kind of draw it down towards me, it makes a real nice smooth uh, cut instead of gouging in. 
you, and you know, every tool is like that. It takes a while to get a feel for it, and every material is like that. It takes a while to figure out how to use this stupid stuff, right? Anyway, I'm just going to show you that technique real, real quick, and then you know, you can do with it whatever you will. But always use your guards. This thing can rip your finger off, and no kidding, it can rip your hand off if, in two seconds if you put it against your hand. And that's why I wear real thick gloves too. Very dangerous, but works great. Okay, now just let me get it. Okay, so, whew, it's hot in here, it's about 90 degrees out, but you know what, I got this suit on so I don't get this blue crap, if you look, I was like two inches deep in this the other day when I first started on this. Now if you saw how I was using that, and I also had my protective gloves on, my breathing pro, my ear pro, and this stuff doesn't really send chips flying so I don't have a face mask, but usually when I'm carving with that angle grinder, I will usually have a full face covering too. I only do it with this just because it's making this little bit of dust. But uh, you can see how I was kind of shaving that away, just kind of shaping it with that. Yeah, could I use a sander? Yeah, you could use a sander. Uh, could I use a handheld rasp? Yeah, you can use all this. But this is fast. I like to get her done fast. So that's about it. Just a little bit of a carving video so you can see how you can even use uh, insulating foam as an armature. And uh, another day I'll show you how we coat that with some hard stuff like, uh, you know, 